Okay, so welcome to part two of this video proving that the complex numbers is indeed, a, uh, with the usual metric defined on the complex numbers, uh, giving the complex plane, is indeed a um, separable metric space. And I apologise for those lines going down the screen. Um, I can't stop that. The lights, uh, the camera doesn't like the lights, but if I turn the lights off, it gets far too dark. Okay, um, so uh, if we consider this point Z, what I've said is we're just going to consider this sort of line down here. And what I want, my aim, what my aim is to prove, here, remember, is that there is a rational number uh, within, there is a rational number within um, this ball, uh, within this ball of size epsilon, this open ball. So I want, what I want to convince you is that if I draw another vertical line down here, and then I split, uh, this, is, this length here is of size epsilon, this length here is of size epsilon as well, so the distance up here is epsilon. So basically, if I take epsilon over 2 here, and epsilon over 2 here, and then I draw the little box in there. That's going to be completely contained within this ball, basically. And what I want to prove to you is that I can find a rational within that little box there. Because if I can find a rational within that little box, then I've got a rational within the little within the ball. Um, so the reason this box is completely contained within this ball is because the furthest point or, of this box, the point that's absolutely the furthest away from Z, is, is going to be this point here. And what's the distance of that point from that point? Well, just use Pythagoras' theorem. It's um, epsilon over two squared, which is the um, side length here squared, because it's a right angled triangle. We can just square this side, square this side, and we'll get this side squared. So if we times this by 2, because it's a uh, perfectly um, isosceles triangle as well, uh, we get that this is 2 times epsilon over 2 squared, which is just epsilon squared over 2, and what we need to then do is square root it, and we'll get the square root of epsilon squared over 2, which will give us epsilon over the square root of 2, which is less than epsilon, because the square root of 2 is greater than 1. So uh, the length of this point, which is furthest away from z of all the points in this box, is less than size epsilon, and therefore it's within the epsilon ball. So all points within this uh, little square are within the epsilon ball. So all I need to do is prove that there's a rational within that little box. And the way that I do that is if I draw these two vertical lines down here, and just consider, and basically I just consider um, all, um, I just consider 